Hello, my name is Whitney, and this video explains techniques in integer problems. So the main technique or strategy when you have problems that deal with integers is keeping track of the signs when you're using mathematical operations. So here we have adding, subtracting, and multiplying and dividing, and we're going to talk about the techniques in keeping up with the signs for these three cases. So adding integers that are both positive or both negative. All you have to do, 3 plus 1, is just add them as you normally would. It's a little basic, so we know this is 4. If they're both negative, you can just carry over the negative sign and act as if these numbers are positive and simplify the problem by saying 3 plus 1, which will just give us negative 4. So now if one of these is positive and, or the other one is negative, the problems can be a bit more tricky, but you just have to realize that you have to keep track of the signs and the sign of the greater value will be the sign of your answer. So minus 3 plus 1 is minus 2. The sign of the answer is the sign of the greatest integer. 3 plus minus 1 is positive 2. Again, positive 3 is the greatest, so our answer is positive. Now in subtracting, if they're both positive or if they're both negative, we have rules as well. So 4 minus 2, we can just subtract this as you normally would. You'll get 2. Now with subtracting, you change the minus or subtraction sign to a plus, and then you flip the sign of the second number. So minus 4 minus minus 2, so subtracting two negative numbers, will become minus 4 plus a positive number. So if we have just one negative number, we can use this same rule of changing the minus sign to adding um, the opposite value to make our life a little easier. So minus 4 plus minus 2. And we have the rules of addition. So adding the opposite, which is 6, 4 plus 2. Whereas before, 4 minus minus 2 sounds a little more complicated than just 4 plus 2. So moving on to multiplying and dividing, fortunately, the rules for both of these are the same. If you're multiplying and dividing two integers where the signs of both integers are the same, so 4 times 3 or 12 divided by 4, you just take the sign of whatever both the integers are and multiply as if they were both positive. So here you have 12 and here you have 3. If these numbers were all negative, you would see that the rule still holds in that all you do is, since they're both negative, you write a negative sign as the answer, and then you multiply them as if they were both positive. So as if you did here. Now, if the signs are different, that just means that your answer is going to have a negative sign, but you can treat them as this first case once you sort the signs. So 4 times minus 3 will be minus 12 or minus 12 divided by 4 will be minus 3. So again, the techniques for solving integer problems deal all with the signs and keeping track of what the answer will be based on the certain operation, whether it's adding, subtracting, or multiplying and dividing. Thanks for watching. My name's Whitney.